hello guys in this session we will see the ec2 of uh, management basically how to attach or detach the ebs volume this is uh, which is a uh, hard drive basically for the linear, any machines okay for the ec2 instance so as you can see i have one linux server here okay so if i just select it and go to the storage here is you can see one 8 gb uh, ebs volume is attached okay and the mount point is slash dev xvda okay the device name basically so let's keep it secure okay slash dev xvda okay now if i want to attach one more ebs volume here just click on the volume here before that just make sure your linux server available in which subnet or availability zones okay so as you can see ap south 1b okay if you created the uh, if you create the abs volume in different uh, availability zones which is not possible to connect okay just note down this point very important point then i am just scrolling down go to the ebs volume okay just oh, i am just opening in the different tab okay so here i will create one more abs volume okay as you can see the existing volume which is in availability zone 1a okay if you want to attach same volume uh, new volume to the existing server then first check the that server uh, where it is located okay that means uh, i mean which availability zones okay just click on create abs volume just you can select the type of the abs volume okay and take the size like i am just creating with the 10 gb of size then here here you need to select the availability zones okay so before that just verify with the server where is your server created okay it's in ip south 1 a okay so select from here availability zone a okay then go with the default option and just if you want to uh, encrypt the volume then you can select this checkbox okay and uh, and attach the key, kms key here okay if you don't want then just don't check and just simply create the volume okay so the new volume has been successfully created here you can see 10 gb so before that i want to confirm my current i have connected my linux machine let me open the duplicate session here okay I am just using the entering the username. You can use putty to connect to your Linux server basically. Okay. Which is like you know similar way, like we for the Windows we use RDP remote desktop connection. Okay. I am just checking my current hard drive here, EBS volume size, EBS volume basically. As you can see, it's in XVDA 8 GB size. Okay. And if I and run the command fdx happen l you can see as of now only one drive is attached okay okay so 10 gb of uh, abs volume has been created so now we want to attach it to the server okay you can simply select that abs volume okay and from the action we have an option like attach volume okay and here if you have multiple instance id okay then it will come here otherwise for the safer side you, what you can what you can do is just copy this instance id okay copy this instance id and paste here okay simply so that server will pop up here then select that device name it will come automatically okay and just simply click attach okay okay the ebs volume has been successfully attached now let's verify again from the console select that server and come to the storage part just scroll down a little bit and you can see the two volume has been attached okay now if i check from the linux server as well use the same command aptx hyphen l okay the existing one we have is 8 gb now you can see the new drive is attached here xvda okay 10 gb of this size okay so this way you can attach for permanent mounting you can use mount, mount options in the linux as you know you can simply you know find the way 
how to mount EBS volume in Linux okay It's a you know a fresh drive, so we need to format it. Then we can use mount option to yeah. This way we can uh, format the drive. Before that, we need to check the file type. Basically, the command is df hyphen h capital T. As you can see, the XFS is file format. Okay, so simply copy this command. paste here okay. let me correct the command here if you already in the root user then you don't need to use sudo command sudo option okay mkfs hyphen xfs and give the proper As you can see here xvdf okay and then just simply format it okay now where we need to mount it we can just create the folder structure here let's say I want to mount in I am in slash root now okay if I want to create one folder where I need to mount it okay slash data okay then just use this simple command to mount it and paste here and just press enter okay mount font is not available okay so as you can see let me run the df hyphen h command <coughs> as you can see the additional drive which is we have created with the 10 gb size which is, is attached the slash data folder okay now i can simply use that if i go to slash data i can simply create any folder test folder So this way you can easily attach new additional EBS volume to the Linux server okay but now this is just a temporary mounting okay if I reboot the server it will go on okay so to avoid this kind of issues in the real time you can use permanent mounting okay which is in the slash fs tab so before that just for the safety purpose you need to backup you know recovery purpose you can just take the backup of the existing fs tab config file okay then dlk id we need to uh, we require this blk id here okay to make the permanent mounting in the Now just copy this just remember this one the um, file system is slash dv xvdf okay and the mount point is slash data okay so let me go into the fs tab here okay here you can simply go to the slash dv xv df okay then press tab 
then mount point okay data slash xfs file system okay tab then defaults okay then you can use the system checks and the backup checks basically okay to make it permanent mounting okay this is very uh, you know sensitive point here because if you are using the any physical machines and you make uh, mistakes in the fs type entry then your server will be will have a problematic okay so just uh, <coughs> use the options very carefully here okay you can refer the documents properly and then you can use that okay to understand the each uh, options from the file system okay you can use any you can use simply search how to mount permanent in linux okay so this way you can simply get the options uh, to understand in the config file fs tab basically okay what are the options and uh, how much which options we need to use okay yeah that's all for the today's session so this way you can use additional uh, drive for the linux server okay